All right, stage one of Gravel Royale is in the books. Oh, so fun. But someday I'm going to have a stage race go smoothly for me. Just someday. Um, but so much fun and so beautiful. So the stage started off with this neutral rollout, um, but it was like 16 miles of descending. Um, which was just fun to like play in a peloton and get down. And then we got across the valley, went across the timing pad, and I worked with a really great group of riders on some pretty like well-packed, heavily traveled gravel roads to aid station one. And then the route kicked up. It was like, I really call it like an ATV trail. Um, and just strewn with kind of softball and golf ball sized rocks all over it. Um, was able to ride most of it, but definitely had to walk a section or two. And I spent the entire four miles in my smallest gear, probably rocking a cadence of like 30. It was, it was slow going, but I moved forward a ton, caught a whole bunch of riders, just moved forward, felt really great. The last like, I don't know, maybe quarter mile, we were on like single track. It was so steep, you had to walk. No, no, no possibility of riding it. Like on my mountain bike, I'm not even sure I could have ridden it. It was pretty steep. But then got to the top and had some really fun single track riding down on the gravel bike. I felt so good on that. I was like, ah, gravel riding on single track, downhill, totally my jam. And then we got onto some pretty rough gravel roads as we made our way back down from, I think it's Taggart Pass we did today. Um, and the top was pretty rocky and loose. And then kind of the middle section was pretty rutted and all of it was quite steep. And you know, I am really used to passing everyone going downhill, not being passed. And I definitely got passed by, I think, three ladies that I passed on the climb going up. That was a little humbling, but I also was kind of reining it in because my hand is, it's still, it's on the mat. Didn't feel amazing descending at high speed with all that jarring. So, room to get better. Um, but then once we got done with the steep descent, we kind of got into more rollers and there, my shifter was dead. I don't know what happened to it, but it was just hanging like this dead, floppy, loose thing. So I could shift into smaller gears, but once I went into a smaller gear, I could never go back up. So fortunately, I figured that out really fast, and when it happened, I was in one of my harder gears. So I did shift down three times. So I ended up kind of in a middle cog and then my bike's got a two by drivetrain. So had the front derailleur worked, that shifter was fine. So I effectively had two gears and uh, rollers for, I don't know, it was an hour and a half of riding that I didn't have my rear cassette in play. Kind of humbling. I lost more spaces again. So. Hopefully the mechanic team is going to be able to scrounge up a new shifter because the shifter is done. And I scrounged together so many backup spare parts for this bike and the one thing I couldn't find were shifters. And so of course, that's what I need is a new shifter. So, <sighs> stage racing, it's always an adventure. But the flip side was I really got to uh, take advantage of the fact that I have a lot of diversity in my cadence. I can rock a 30 cadence. I can rock 130 cadence. Um, and it was kind of fun to figure out my gearing strategy, having just two gears. So that was kind of cool. And there was times when I was just totally spun out, nothing I could do about it. And I got to look around and it is freaking gorgeous here. I mean, seriously, it's so, freaking gorgeous here. We rode by um, this group of mountains that they refer to as the Royals, what the race is named after, and they were spectacular. They're so steep, above timberline, just so beautiful. So yeah, and there was bear scat everywhere. 
and I did not hit a bear today. Did not see a bear, did not run into a bear. So, huge win. So, ton of food to eat, and I'm uh, gonna go take a dip in this beautiful river here. Bye.